Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right. Let me just tell you one thing. I think a lot of people are not looking at the the other side of the fence with this um, with this loss the, with the lawsuit with the AMC case. That's just my my iPad. Um, you know how everybody's gonna get a chance to opt out the whole thing, say technically not be a part of this whole thing. Well, imagine when they when we match up what we're putting out there versus what popcorn puts out there. Now we both know there's gonna be a major discrepancy in it, but I'm just saying to myself, like, when it's going to be an astronomical discrepancy, then you need to think to yourself, is, is that grounds for fraud? Like, you have to understand something, like if you take a look at the big picture of this nonsense, we got into this investment, we wanted to make money. We saw an opportunity, it was a short squeeze. We got on the other side of the short squeeze, we won. They changed the rules several times by doing things, obviously, that we all know by now. Some of the stuff was legit, but dirty. The other shit was definitely not legit. Um, and now, we're in this court case because, obviously, the, the powers that be, created ape with the company we save and the CEO that says he loves us and all of a sudden it was prearranged they were going to do the merge reverse split yada yada everything with the same people that were shorting us so basically um, you can't get any more low life shit than that like for real like there's there's women in, there's families that were depending on this money and this motherfucker turned around and structured a deal, even though he's already rich. And that's one. I'll get into another thing about that. It's one of my one of my one of my things I, I have with with fucking rich people. Not all. I know I know some rich people that their fucking their heart is bigger than my fucking head. But anyway, the thing is this: when we cast our objections to the settlement, which is technically a no vote, and it's matched up on the numbers that Popcorn put out there. Do you understand, like, this is not going to get better for AMC. Like, you, I, I can tell you this much. AMC's making money. They're going to continue making money. But at the end of the day, after our run happens, we have, we have a lot of pissed off motherfuckers that are going to get ready to do lawsuits against AMC, so do not be shocked if you're eventually gonna be contacted for a class action on the other side. Not that that's a lot of money, it's chump change. You'll probably get a couple of grand, maybe a couple of hundred bucks. But at the end of the day, like AMC, like in this whole process, thought they were gonna just skate on by until this happened. Like everything was perfect. And all of a sudden now, we're gonna get to see what the shareholders, the retail shareholders wanted versus what AMC and Popcorn and and City and Antara and all the other cast of characters, what they technically cooked up. Like, think about that for a second. Like, if you notice, our, our beloved Popcorn is more distanced now, like whatever, the last time he said anything was about Robin Hood, remember? Because he was pissed off at what they said. He was fucking pissed off. He's done everything to help the shorts. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if at three o'clock in the morning on some given Thursday, they find popcorn like trying to set fire to movie theaters, <laughs> like for real. Like, I know nothing not will shock me at this point. Fucking my tripod shit. It's early in the morning. I'm fucking out of it. I'm having my coffee. Oh, actually, make your motherfuckers laugh. Um, before, let me get into that. I can't wait to see the numbers on the other side. I can't wait to hear from the vice chancellor what she sees. I'm sure she already by now knows that retail does not want this. Look at the letters that were sent in. And it was just a small portion. Think about that. So like I said, on the other side of this, it ain't gonna end well for AMC. I still believe that we're gonna start seeing these seven, eight, nine, ten, and climbing. There's nothing they can do to stop it. That earnings report bullshit they did yesterday pre-market and suppressing it throughout the day, all the trades going off, off market. Let me tell you something. That was really fucked up. And where was our fearless leader? Anyway. Oh, making motherfuckers laugh. Anyway. Um, 
my brother has me watching Jurassic Park because I never saw Jurassic Park. And I just got to tell you something. How could a dinosaur sneak up on you? Like for real, how, how could a T-Rex sneak up on you? And don't tell me you're in the jungle, you can't see nothing. I'm like, no, 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 no. How the fuck does a dinosaur sneak up on you? See, that's why I don't, I don't understand. If people getting all scared and shit like that. I'm saying, go inside a building. Just go inside of a building. And a fucking dinosaur. I said, what about the little dinosaurs? Shoot those motherfuckers. Like, for real. Like, it's the dumbest thing in the world. Like, I'm watching like, all these people running. The dinosaurs. Like, dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs fuck some people up. But I'm like, it's dinosaurs. How can a dinosaur sneak up on you? I can't, man. The second you go in an area and see no cats or dogs, you know shit is going down. By the way, there is, there was, I, I don't know, I haven't seen all of them yet. Lost World, whatever shit. There are no blacks or Puerto Ricans in Jurassic Park. I'm just letting you know that because these motherfuckers would have went to the beach, started making a raft with coconuts and fucking sailing out. I love white people. They're out there trying to pet the dinosaur. This is the dinosaur. I'm like, yo, not for nothing. <laughs> Would have been doing some Aquaman shit, swimming the fuck out of that island. But anyway, getting back to AMC. When this is all said and done, I think that this is just the beginning of the legal troubles for AMC. And like I said, I want my run. I want our run so we can make our money and then be done with AMC. And at the end of the day, let's face it. Popcorn don't give a shit either. At his age, him and his magic sweaters are going to retire someplace in Palm Beach and be off to some God knows what. But here we are now at this fucked up event. That's all I can tell you. But at least we'll get to have the the justification that, you know, we knew that we were right. We were being fucking fraud along the way. So, giant love.